aging face that this world has forgotten. Ooh, what's up, guys, and welcome to another Pocket Topics from yours truly, the Scarinder. And uh, this is a topic that I've kind of have avoided because, uh, for a few guys who doesn't know, I'm actually a judge when it comes to VGC here in Sweden. It's more like a hobby gig, it's not really like a main job or like that. They call me when they need somebody who's knowledge about Pokemon, and uh, I clearly am to some regard, but I'm not a good VGC player nor. Am I trying to be, but um, it, it's a fun extra job basically. And we got a rule set a few months back where we had to, uh, after certain regionals, we had actually gotten feedback that we need to look out for people who are timer stalling. And I never really got why, because it, it's never been an issue. While I do believe timer stalling is a very, very boring way of playing, outside of that, it really are a legitimate strategy. Just like I said, not a very fun to watch at. But yeah, having that said, once of course Sun and Moon was introduced with their new concept of a possible timer and actually getting rid of the timer altogether, it got a bit more interesting. But I still felt that you know I want to see how this develops, and uh, we haven't really got the full rules of VC 17. It looks like I won't be able to join that either, due to uh, restriction of not as many tournaments anymore. But the tournaments getting a lot bigger. That said, something happened, obviously. Something happened with, of course, the Bronx uh, Beatrix against, do you believe, uh, something with Kelio. Yeah, I'm being extremely professional right now. Uh, let's see, Carolina Kelios. And that was that Joey, of course, Poke game was uh, around 35 minutes, started to stall the game out. And one due to stalling the, t the game out because that was his only way of winning. And people got super, super upset. Not necessarily because of uh, of that Jay lost, but that he uh, that um, that Joey won the game. He did, and people would say it was bad sportsmanship. It was people would say they lost respect for uh, Joey due to playing the way he decided to do, and. Uh, this is the thing, I, people are so passionate when it comes to this game, and it's a loaded question, you know, do you timer stall? One has to realize that it was never Joey's intent when it comes to, if you look at his build for the, ba the battle, he never had any intent to stall out the game whatsoever, uh, but that was the only thing he had left, due to Jay actually having a, a torn dust cloud that was speeding Snorlax. Well, let's just say it as it is, that is... That is pretty darn smart, and it did work. It clearly did work, and with a timer of one hour, he was able to actually stall this game out. So, what I'm trying to say is, had a timer not been implemented in the game, which is a possibility in the next game, it would have been very likely Jay would have won that game. Absolutely, but I think people are ignoring that. The reason there is a timer inclusion when it comes to Wi-Fi and Sun and Moon is because situations like this, there are a few games here who can be decided by just surviving till the time timer stops, and that's actually not good. I don't think that showcase the skill of the player. Having that said, it's a design choice by the game at the moment. One has to accept that this kind of tactics are available due to that in mind. So it's fairly interesting and also I've talked with of course Ash and Akai about you know a limited timer if people got 10 minute timer to decide on their move that um, people could use that more likely to their advantage if you are intent of timer stalling by in comparing this of course Chess that if you want to time stall your opponent the way to do that professionally or strategically is by making your first moves really really fast like go for the likes of minimize and stuff like that and then after that you can start timer stalling when the opponent now has to make a choice of how he has to waver the game until then he's the one using the timer the most not you which means that you have a lot of reserve left in your timer which your opponent clearly doesn't have so you have a lot of wiggle room there so excluding timer altogether might actually be the way to go that would in a fair way ensure that the game can continue so the right player wins. Having that said, we have the Lepaberry situation, which is something that's going to be interesting with Recycle Lepaberry, which, you know, the game can probably never end due to Peep and never running out. So that's 
that's also something. Banning Lepaberry might actually be an importance. But outside of that, what I'm trying to say here is that timer stalling, while it is being as boring as hell, shouldn't be treated as something, you know, forbidden or shameful. If anything, if you look into the Yogi's game here, he did win the game because he could survive the game. Yes, it's a very, very boring, boring way of viewing Wi-Fi battle. And of course, the entertainment value in a timer stall is, uh, well, in lack of better words, it's um, it's worthless. It's definitely not fun to look at. And uh, what I'm trying to say, if we're reaching out for the fans themselves, um, I think they are, um, or I'm pretty sure people are viewing timer stalling, like I said, as some kind of shameful tactics that a few key members got in somewhat famous for, and I guess people are actually relating to that it's a certain individual when it comes to timer stalling. But it's not really like that. And as you guys saw, Yoey's plan was not to play the way he did here, but he was forced to play that way. And while it's not a pretty one, Jay did not have the power to break through. And one has to realize, and that is clearly what it was all about. Joey knew he could actually not he could not survive the walling, but he could be a part of the walling. And that was Jay's fault of actually not having any offensive pressure against against Yoe, which means, in all honesty, if we are two defensive players left and the other one can survive the other one's defenses, it's gonna be a pretty shitty game, so why not make the best use out of it, and clearly, I think Yoe did that. What I'm trying to say is, timer stalling is not so bad as people making it out to be. It is a game design, and it's a very, very boring one to watch, but it's not a bad strategy. If anything, if you can pull this off right, then you win the game because you are clearly not at risk of losing by playing defensively. Like I said, boring to watch, but not a game, bad game strat whatsoever, and people should freaking stop trying to make people bad guys for using it. It's it's not right. It really, really is not right to try to uh, attack people to, who utilizes this. And like I said, in the next game, clearly Game Freak have of course seen this as a viable strat, and are trying to get rid of it, so I really like that. I think it is extremely important because this will shift how the game will fundamentally work as of course this transpire. So yeah, that's, that's my own real thoughts about this, and I really of course appreciate your thoughts about timer stalling and whatnot. Please do share them. And um, with that said guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of Pocket Topics, and timer stalling is, like I said, viable strat. Let's hope it disappears in the next generation. Take care, guys. Bye.